Winter Olympic Games Gunpowder in Pursuit of Perfection Hout 290 Snow Cannons Prepare for Beijing's 2022 Ski Slope In less than two weeks Yanqing, 75 kilometers northwest of Beijing, will host the first alpine event of the 2022 Winter Olympics, the men's downhill. Long considered to be one of the jewels in the crown of the Games, a single-run shootout where racers can exceed 85 miles per hour, this year it will take place on slopes that are often parched in winter. At Wingen, Switzerland, home to the Lauberhorn races, one of the biggest events in alpine skiing's calendar, the average weekly snowfall in January is 31 cm, in December 23 cm and February 27 cm. In Yanqing, you can expect between 2 and 3 cm a month during the same period. At Zhangjiagou, the mountainous city 190 km northwest of Beijing, which hosts the jump events, the snowfall is greater, about 100 cm for winter but still insufficient to meet the thickness requirement for Olympic venues. And so in Zhangjiago and Yanqing, snowmaking machines from Technoalpin, an Italian company, dot the slope. Since November these bright yellow snow guns and cannons have been pumping manufactured snow onto pistes for events from downhill to slope style to ski jumping. The machines work by firing tiny ice particles into the air at the same time as a fine mist of water vapor. Launched up to 60 meters by a fan, the water and ice stick and freeze and fall as snow. The work was expected to be completed by mid-January, about two weeks before the Olympic cauldron will be ignited at the national stadium in the nation's capital. The practice has become common in recent games, including those in Vancouver, Sochi and Pyeongchang. And yet, the demand for water in China is huge. Between Beijing and Zhangjiagou, this year's Winter Games will need 49 million gallons of water, enough to fill 74 Olympic swimming pools. Technoalpin is using about 290 snow cannons, nearly double the number in use at Wenzhen, which covers an area four times larger. Chinese organizers say that snowmaking is necessary not only to generate enough snow, but also to meet specific conditions. Artificially produced snow is thought to be faster and grippier, which Mother Nature cannot be relied upon to provide. There are certain demands on the depth, density, and hardness of snow, not only to ensure top performances but also to ensure fairness to all athletes, organizers say. In order to ensure that competitors can reach a top speed of 130 to 140 km per hour, the International Ski Federation has strict requirements on the hardness of the slopes, so snowmaking is the most critical part. Wu Gaoxing, the operation manager of the National Alpine Ski Center in the Beijing suburb of Yanqing, told the, a party-run newspaper. The man-made snow is less fluffy less complex in form and can be laid and groomed to meet the specific requirement. LV Xingming, the sales and marketing director of Technoalpin in China, said that snowmaking involves no use of chemicals. It's a physical transformation, he said, explaining that snow is created when water droplets, upon contact with compressed air and sub-zero air, crystallize. There are different requirements for slopes, turns, starting areas and landing zones, LV told. Given the scale of the snowmaking operation and the natural sparsity in Yanqing, there has been some skepticism about the quality of events such as the downhill. But Bernhard Rusi, who has designed nine of the past ten Olympic downhill courses, including for Beijing, dismissed that concern. I would say it is a surprisingly good, good in the sense it is going to be challenging, Rusi said this month. It is going to be a much steeper downhill than everybody was thinking. Everybody thought Beijing is flat and Beijing has no mountains, and that's not true. It really has everything. It has steep parts, long turns, quick turns, it has some speed sections, and for me personally I like that we have three, for real big, big jump. According to the terrain, according to the mountain, according to the work we have done, this could be a very good downhill, a very demanding downhill. Beyond the sporting fears, there is the ecological cost. According to China Water Risk, Zhangjiago has a water resource per capita that is a fifth of the national average, but Chinese organizers have made environmental protection a top priority for the games and say that their massive snowmaking scheme will not harm the area, either by depriving residents of water or in damaging the non-human surrounding. We are adhering to the concept of sustainability said Li Zhenlong, facility manager at the National Cross Country Skiing Center in Zhangjiago. We've collected surface water for snowmaking, and we don't need to tap any underground water. It has no impact on the environment. At the jumping center in Zhangjiago, Jia Maoting, a general manager for the game's construction projects, said the 300,000 tons of water the site needs for snowmaking comes from surface water that was collected in the summer and stored in a cistern. There's no water from the water plant, Jia said. In Yanqing, the Beijing suburb that will host the sliding sports and alpine skiing, the water usage by the games will account for 1.6% of the district's total water consumption. But in Zhangjiago, 
that figure is 9.8%. And although the authorities insist snowmaking will not affect the daily water needs by local residents, a water transfer project has diverted more than 5 million cubic meters of water to the area to minimize the need to tap the underground water.